In this video, I am going to introduce you to IAM Action Hunter tool. This IAM Action Hunter tool is from Rhino Security Labs and it is a standalone open source tool to query and audit your IAM permissions. This tool can be used offensively as well as defensively. IAM Action Hunter can be used to search for any potential privilege escalation opportunities in AWS accounts. It queries various AWS IAM permissions that might be exploited. In this video, I'm going to install it on AWS Jupyter Notebook in SageMaker. You can use any Linux instance for that purpose. I'm already logged into my account and let's see how to install it. The first thing you need to do is you can git clone the open source repo of this tool and then go from there. Let me first clone the repo. And I will also drop the link to these commands and repo in video description so, so that you can follow along. So first thing I'm doing is I have just cloned it. And then after cloning, just quickly check what it has downloaded and cloned. There you go. Now just simply cd to this directory, which is I am action hunter at the very end. Let me clear the screen and if I ls, so these are all the things. Next is to install all the requirements in this directory. So just pip install dot, which is going to install everything in the present working directory. Doesn't take long because I'm using this Jupyter notebook, which already has a lot of stuff. So that's it, it has already installed it. Let me clear my screen and then quickly check if the XC is working. Just with the help command, it is cool. Okay, so before you start using this I am action hunter tool, the first thing you need to do is to collect all the I am related, related information from your account. In order to do that, you need to run this command. I am action hunter collect and your profile. This profile is your AWS CLI profile and you can find it in home directory under uh, .aws directory where, you, where there will be a config file and a credentials file. So this command is using config file and whatever profile you have specified there. If you want to audit any other AWS account, simply mention its profile name and it will collect the data from there. But I am using this default profile for this present account. So I'm just going with the default. So let me run it. The data collection is complete. While that happens, let me uh, show you the policy which I'm going to audit. So this is a very broad policy which is allowing every action on every resource in IEM. And I'm going to attach this policy to a role which is just a test role and then see if this IEM Action Hunter tool is able to detect any anomaly or not. So let's try it out. So in order to audit our role, all you need to do is to this, just I am action hunter command, then your account number, and then the role name. Plus you can also filter down as what exact actions in the policy you want to check. For instance, I want to check any IAM related actions in this test role. So let me replace my account number and then run this command. I ran this command and you can see because it was a very broad policy, it has gone in and showed me only IAM related actions allowed in that policy. We can even just simply check for, let's say, IAM get user policy, whether it is present in this policy or not. So let me try this one out. So as you can see, the IAM Hunter tool was able to detect that this particular action was allowed in that policy. Okay, now let me take you to their GitHub repo page and show what other examples you can do with the same commands. So if you go to their GitHub repo page, you can see that in this one, um, you can not only, after collecting the data, you can not only list all the account data you have, you can query a particular thing, just I showed you in the example, and then you can query more like you can concatenate different sort of actions to see if they're available or present in that policy or not, and so on. Um, you can also check for any particular user. You can output it to a CSV file, and then you can run a preset config. And then you can go more advanced where you can only show the results if a user or role 
has all queried permission or not. This is actually quite handy in your day to day operations where you just want to query something from a huge, large, complex policy. So, this is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will again drop the link or to this repo in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.